Our coverage of a semi-final here at the Euros. My name is Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry, and sitting next to me with microphone in hand is Stuart Robson. Excitement levels are off the charts, it must be said. It's Spain versus France. Well, what a matchup between these two excellent teams. Both have played really well to reach this stage of the tournament, but which one is going to go through to the final? I think this could be really close today. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. Fabian. Well, a classic example of how to intercept. And able to close down the shot. Here's the lineup for Spain. Nacho Fernandez plays with Emeric Laporte in central defence. Fabian plays with Rodri in central midfield. And Morata is the main striker for this match. Here's the side France will go with. Oh, Derek, what a moment this could be. Well, as you can see, he's given far too much space, but he still had some work to do, and I think that's a very tidy finish. It was never in doubt. And back underway. 1-0 it is. Rodri... Williams a danger here as he runs at them and beyond the byline goal kick then Chouameni Kunde Dembele on the ball Radio. Now Griezmann, Mbappe, might it be Mbappe, there it is, a fantastic goal and no wonder he's off celebrating. Well just watch this again, Griezmann's pass is inch perfect and that's a top class finish from Mbappe, he hits that with such control, that's a brilliant goal. Well, he knows his team haven't been good enough in this game, but how does he change it? So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Using his strength to shield the ball. Fabian. Well, they're on the scent of something positive. Morata. Now with Fabian. Oh, really close with that effort. Teo Hernandez. Griezmann. Went in strongly to win the ball. Morata. Rodri. And Fabian. Seemed to switch off for a moment, and now a throw in. Danny Olmo. Williams. Good technique displayed. Rodri. Good idea. And the post denied him. Well, it looked as though it might be problematic for the keeper and the defenders, but they've got away with it. Well, he eventually clutches the ball, but they've got lucky here. That really looked like being a goal, didn't it? Danny Olmo. That's the kind of shielding play you expect from him. Still could put it away. Well, he knows what he's doing defensively. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. This could be troublesome. 
Well, it was so easy on the eye, that counter-attack, but no reward for them. Yeah, it was all good until the final effort. It just shows how devastating they can be on the break, though. Nacho Fernandez. Jesus Navas. And France with the ball again. Morata. The fans are shouting, shoot. Oh, he's blocked it. Fabian. Opportunity here. Blocked again. Oh, a really untidy loss of possession. And he read it really well. Fine save. Who can they pick out? They must struggle to get it away properly. Laporte. Danny Olmo. Rodri. Now Morata. And the flag does go up offside. And Golo Conte. And winning it back. Well, shielding the ball admirably. And they know they need to stop him. Excellent refereeing. Advantage in operation. Did look as though they had attacking momentum, but not so. An advantage with them. Referee says play on. And again, negligence when in possession. Now, let's see what they can do here. Well, disappointing end to the move. Well, maybe a good position from which to counter. Laporte. Kukureya. And Fabian. Really getting stuck in. Conte. Mbappe. France being afforded too much space here. But quick thinking defensively. Nacho Fernandez. Danny Olmo with it. Now the quick counter-attack could be on. The supporters want to see him have a go. And taken cleanly by the goalkeeper. Well, as the stats highlight, their attacking play up to that final third has been decent. They've had chances, but in front of goal they've been wasteful. And today that's cost them. I can't see a way back from here. Kukureya. Crossing possibilities. Morata able to close down the shot. Now the referee letting them continue, but now it's going to be a booking. Well, he tried to play the advantage, but he was always going to come back to that challenge. Has someone to play it to? Well, that was an opportunity to get themselves back into this contest. Well, it's a chance, yes, and one they needed to take. They're struggling here, no doubt about that. Conte. Dembele. Conte. Radio. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. One minute of stoppage time has been added on. In the right place to cut out the pass. Kunde. Shuameni. Well, nothing for them to worry about in the end. Good defending. A chance then for the respective managers to...
Into the second half then. Will it be more of the same from France? They were breathtaking in the first 45, you've got to say. Are they capable of matching that in the second half? He read the situation defensively and did his job. Griezmann. And return to Griezmann. Oh, just mistimed his run and the flag going up. Rodri. Oyar Sabal. Danny Olmo with it. And Fabian did well to win the ball back. Dembele. Here's Mbappe. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Oyar Sabal. And a throw coming up after that authoritative challenge. Nacho Fernandez. Danny Olmo with it. Read it well. Mbappe. Kylian Mbappe. That's a fine save. Miko Williams. Danny Olmo. Jesus Navas now. A foul, but advantage played. Morata. Foul there. Free kick awarded. So making the substitution now. Delivered into the box. Oh, an incredible clearance. I must say, I didn't see that coming. Electing to shoot. And just over the bar. Really good effort. And into the last 30 minutes now. Chouameni. Now Rabio. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Uber Mercado. And return to Conte. Mbappe. Really fine piece of defending play to break it up. Oyar Sabal. Really good wide play. Could play it in. And the pass not finding its target. Mbappe. Beautifully weighted ball. Griezmann. Well, a top-notch piece of defensive judgment. Oyar Sabal. Jesus Navas. Now with Fernandez. Room to roam here for France. Mbappe in the centre. Well, they couldn't quite muster a real threat. Rodri. That's very effective. Good high pressing. Into the final 20 minutes. Kukureya. 
Kukureya. And scope for them to produce something exciting. Miko Williams. Oh, that's a really good run. Cuts it back. Reading it well. And a substitution. in the offing keen to take it short here will it happen for them well that's how to keep the opposition at bay now counter attacking possibilities here Rabio on to Dembele Look as though there might be a threat, but not so in the end. Good defending. Morata. The ball with Rodri. Nacho Fernandez. It's with Mikel Marino. Nacho Fernandez. Mikel Marino now with Fernandez. Rodri. Williams. Crossing possibilities. An alert piece of defending. Well, I have to say, he's done really well here. He's in the right place and then a decent finish. That's a good goal. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Miko Williams. Grimaldo with it. Kukureya. And a super header. It looked as though it might be going in. And time for the change now. Elects to go short. And Morata's in the vicinity. Might still be able to do a bit of damage. Grimaldo. Morata. And making sure there was no danger in the end. Mbappe. Might it be Mbappe? my word there's excellent timing for you what a challenge Laporte now with Fernandez. so two minutes to be added on at the end Mikel Marino. It's with Laporte. Nacho Fernandez. Laporte. Rodri. And the referee blows the whistle that every French fan wanted to hear. France are through to the final here at the European Championship. Well, it was such a dominant performance from start to finish. They dictated the tempo for large parts of the game and were absolutely lethal in front of goal. After a performance like that, they have to be favourites going into that final now. Surely it's theirs to lose. 
And a good performance, as we've come to expect from N'Golo Conte. What did you make of what you saw from him? Well, I thought he was excellent. Not only did he score a good goal, but his general play was outstanding.